This is the Slam GK fleet, minus not one, but two cars. What's up, gangster? Give me some skin, brother. Yeah, leave it there, George. <laughs> so obviously we have got matching liveries on all the cars for the first time ever shout out identity and blackfish for that we've got the rsq8 we've got the puppy the audi r8 the original we've also got beth's skyline r32 gtr and we've got the liberty walk Lamborghini. So this is our Lamborghini Huracan with a full silhouette Huracan Lamborghini fuck fuck fuck. So this is our Lamborghini Huracan. It used to be yellow. It's now got a full Liberty Walk silhouette GT kit on it with a carbon bonnet, a carbon splitter, carbon canards and lots of other lovely carbon. Now as we walk around it has got three-piece Vossen splits Gen 01s with Miami white centers and not only that we paint match the brakes to the lovely paint. Now on that we made our own color, custom color, Gravity Blue. That is actually based on the Inositec Kato Blue, Kenemu, Kenemene, 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 Inositec Blue color. That's the Liberty Walk Kato Blue. We paint matched it because we wanted all of the cars to match. We wanted this one to be a little bit special. Now, as we make our way around to the back, we have got this massive wing. Now, this comes with the kit, but what we did was we made it carbon and we made it have a light bar in it with our friends at Carbon Air. So, thank you very much for working with us on that. What we wanted, we wanted from the rear, we wanted it to be very aggressive, but also have the really nice light bar so that at night really stands out. You will also notice the massive carbon diffuser, which is a massive favorite of mine. Beforehand, it didn't have a very good diffuser, but now it does, which is ideal. We've got the big Falcon tires. Shout out Falcon for them. And then as we walk around, check out the inside. So you'll notice we have got a flat top and a flat bottom steering wheel from Control Customs, full carbon and leather with yellow stitching to match the dash stitching because obviously the car used to be yellow. We have the brand new, I'm just gonna move this seat back, watch this. We have got brand new, full carbon Recaro Podium CFs. My favorite seat in the whole world. The original seats are terrible, so we wanted to make sure that we had a much comfier, much better looking seat and the fact they're full carbon, it's just cool, isn't it? Uh, look at the back, you'll notice I can no longer see anything. We put my name on the fin because we thought it'd be cool and it makes me like a race driver, even though I'm not. And we repainted the forged carbon engine bay cover and we re, re lacquered it so it looks a thousand times better because that looked awful. As we go around, you'll notice there's a lot of little touches like here, on here, there was four bolts on here. One, two, three, four. Smooth that because we wanted a factory finish. So Colorcraft worked their asses off on this for about four months and what, especially in here as well. So all of this is obviously fiberglass but we wanted the inside to be filled, smoothed, painted, not just left like the interior or wrapped, wrapped like the interior of fiberglass, because that looks a bit shit. On the side skirt, all the other Liberty Walk silhouette kits in the world, there's only about 22 of them, all have a ginormous seam line here. But we didn't want that, so what we did is we filled it. And behind that, we kept the original side skirts so that we can keep the correct cooling through the side skirt from the OEM car. Now that's cool. So that pretty much sums up the Lamborghini silhouette Slambo. Uh, and obviously, when you're going around the car, don't step. I've done that and it's not clever. It's not big or clever. Don't do it. Thanks. Peace. See you Mr. What's going on here then? <laughs> Hi guys, so this is my R32 GTR Skyline and it's new look. Um, wrapped in Inositec Kato Blue, but I think it's called Ken Mary Blue. Might have to fact check me there. But yeah, we've got some of our sponsors on it and it's actually based on other 90s JDM liveries, which is really, really cool. Um, number two, because it's an R32. So we actually decided to wrap the surrounds of the lights black, which really highlights them a bit more. And I think from the back at night, it looks like an S body now, because you lose the bit of the shape of the lights and where they've split the boot and everything. Obviously, we've not changed the wheels, so we're still running the BBS LMs and if we have a look inside we've got my custom Corbo gravity seats. Can't remember what the name of the Corbos are. Uh, can I have a can I George can I have a fact check the name of the seats? Don't say Corbo. 
nobody knows the name of the seat. Anyway, take a little look. We've got the TRS harnesses. But, so, fun fact about the seat, we had to have it fixed in a specific position so that other people can drive the car, because I'm quite short and George's very tall. So I can't actually reach the pedals. So if you have a little look in the back, we've got the pillow from my bed. Yeah, so I put that on the seat so I can reach the pedal. So we also have the Nardi steering wheel, which just looks sick and is really nice to drive with, so we love that. And yeah, that's about it for the interior for now. So I'll take you around to the front and we have yellow headlights. Now, I didn't want to go for yellow headlights. George did want me to go for yellow headlights. So we compromised and went for yellow headlights. But we also went for the Hella um, fog lights and they're in yellow as well. So it works quite well when they're all on and they're together. The hog light, the hog? The fog lights are very, very bright. Um, but yeah, I think it looks quite sick. So earlier in the year, the Skyline was off the road for about six months-ish because um, Forge Motorsport actually did me a new core for my intercooler. So they had it for a while, built me a whole new thing. It looks very, very fresh now and lovely. Um, Oscar and Dom did try to fit it for me because I'm not going to be doing it, let's be honest. But they also couldn't really do it, so it wasn't fitted quite right. So our lovely friend Harry at Identity Wraps fitted it for me. And now look at it. It's perfect. So that about wraps up my R32. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it looks sick. I'm not going to change the look for a little while, but over winter we might go bigger power. Might not. We'll see. So on the mic controller, mic controller. Look at me, MC, Dommy D. Fuck off. <laughs> what am I doing here then? Right, this is our Audi RS Q8. First fact about this car, 24 inch Vossens, 24 inch, fucking massive. And, Jewel couldn't afford carbon ceramics, so <laughs> bear break dust, that's horrible. That. So, number two, wrap to match the Lambo. Gravity blue is the paint on the Lambo, but this is called uh, a nose attack, something, something, Kato blue, I'm pretty sure it's blue. Obviously, we've got all the, the matching theme with the cars, Union Jack, love it. Gravity, Dragon Energy, Gravity, Urban Kit. Fun fact about the Urban Kit, you'd think there'd be one big R side skirt actually split because these doors are so big. Oh, and also, little soft clothes, absolute flex. I mean, besides the um, seriously dirty wheels that we mentioned, the color matched brake calipers just to make it pop. Overall, the car is fucking fast and although it's not mine, they're a bit shit at presenting so they got me on it. Welcome to the puppy. Now this is the R8. It's a V8 gated manual and it is the love of my life. I've had it for so long. And check out the new livery. I think it looks amazing. We've got the new Voss and wheels on because we work with Austin now. I don't know if you heard. We also paint match the brakes to the wrap. Of course, same with all the other cars. We've got the prior design side skirts that have been on the car pretty much since I bought it. Um, I think pretty, pretty much anyone in the country with those side skirts on. Very cool. And as we go around to the back, we have the giant carbon ducktail spoiler. Again, we've had that for a little while. And the Liberty Walk style carbon fiber rear diffuser, which is a massive, massive plus for me. And I really like it. You've got to have good diffusers on the cars, haven't you? And not forgetting, we've got really loud exhausts. Obviously, they're not the exhaust because the exhaust is behind. But we have got three inch straight pipe on this. We've still got the cats, but it is so loud. And I totally forgot GT rear lights. Just to finish off the rear end a little bit, we were going to do the same for the front, but they wanted six and a half grand for the new front lights. Don't think so. And as we walk around, obviously, we've got the carbon side blades. We've got a big number six and we have the UK flag and my name because race driver. Why is it number six? It's number six because it's G6 VTY on the number plate. That's pretty much the only reason. Obviously, we need a new number plate because I don't know if you can tell, if you do a little close on the number plate, the exhaust is actually melted here. Uh, it's melted the number plate. We do need another one. It is on the way. And as we go around to the front, we've gone for a little bit of a smaller sunstrip. I don't know if you've seen the car before, but we usually have like a two foot sunstrip. So I'm literally looking out of a letterbox. We decided to just go for the smaller Slam UK logo this time. And actually, I think it works a lot better. And actually, you'll see here, we've got a splitter that is not smashed to bits. It's a miracle. I think this is our 12th splitter for this car. Um, we've had it for six years, so average two a year. Not bad at all. Okay, so if you want to see all of these cars behind me, come to Gravity Show this weekend. Buy your tickets. We are selling out very fast, so do not miss your chance to come. You're also going to have a chance to see the drift car, the new look for the drift car, which can be super sick, and also 
my favourite, the race car. You'll be able to see it there. All these cars will be unveiled again. God, I can't wait. And give it a little little rev. Well? Yeah, go on in. <laughs> you want to see my neon button? You want to see it? This is the most important button in the whole car. Pow. <laughs> <laughs>